Hello, I'm Dr. Sudhayan Kanna. Today I'm here to discuss with you about numbers. So, as far as blood glucose levels are concerned, there are three types of values that we talk about. Fasting blood glucose values, postprandial blood glucose or post-lunch glucose values, and random glucose values. What does fasting glucose value mean? By definition, fasting means eight hours of fast. So when you don't have any food or any liquids except water, for 8 hours you are in a fasting state. Now what values of glucose in fasting state are worth noting? Less than 70 mg percent of fasting glucose is something when we say that the patient's glucose are going low or hypoglycemia. Normal values are between 70 to 100. From 100 mg percent to 125 mg percent, the values are called pre-diabetic levels. Beyond 126 mg percent of fasting glucose levels, a person is labeled as diabetic. Let's take the postprandial glucose. When do you say that it is either the patient or a person is in a post-lunch or a postprandial uh, state? It should not be after finishing your food. It should be when you start eating from that time, two hours after that particular time, is the time when you need to check your glucose levels. Now the postprandial glucose up to 140 is milligram percent is normal. 150 to 200 is supposed to be in a pre-diabetic range. In those patients who are not yet diagnosed to be diabetes, and beyond 200, they are labeled as diabetic. Now the last one is the random glucose level. What is random glucose level? You can check glucose level irrespective of the last meal that you have consumed. It could be 5 minutes, it could be 10 minutes, it could be 3 hours, it could be 10 hours. It has to be below 200. About 200, these are labeled as an abnormal values and might require other investigations to confirm that whether this person has diabetes or not. When do these values come into picture? These values come into picture when you need to diagnose a person to have diabetes. These values come into picture when a diabetic patient is on medications and he needs to monitor this frequently so that he understands this value and adjusts his lifestyle, adjusts his medication with the help of his doctor. And many times these values guide us to know the risk or the complications the patient is exposed to if they are in a completely uncontrolled manner for a long duration of time. I'd like to just conclude by saying that it is really important for you to monitor, measure and manage your glucose values so that you can lead a healthy life. Thank you.